All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting here in the Freedom Office. It was a long day yesterday, but we're home. Got to head back out next week. Going to head up to Fort Drum, actually. Uh, yeah, this is the wettest place in the entire world. So I got an email this morning from my good friend, Mr. Loftus, talking about some credit card tracking uh, positions that uh, the new ISO is going to apply code so that the banks can track uh, specific purchases as it relates to firearms and ammunition. Yay. Let's just get into it. This is the Epic Times. This is an article that was written by Mimi Nyanyang Li. Lai. Uh, so we'll get into this. Now, there's some stuff in here that's going to piss you off. Are you ready? The International Standards Bodies approved the creation of a merchant category code for gun retailers to identify credit card sales of guns and ammunition. Now, first of all, I know there's a lot of guys out there that do cash only. Probably not a bad idea. As you can tell, like lately, the deal where if you used a credit card to purchase something off of eBay that was related or arms for the uh, rare breed trigger, uh, you got the guy showing up at your door. It's kind of sick. All right. So anyway, the International Organization of Standards, ISO, and if you're in any kind of industrial uh, manufacturing or anything, you're familiar with the ISO organization, a non-governmental body based in Geneva, Switzerland, that creates standards across various industries, including the financial services industry, has approved the new merchant category code for gun and ammunition stores. Uh, the approval took place at a meeting on September 7th. Confirmed to Payments Dive in an email, a subcommittee of the organization approved the code, an ISO, uh, ISO spokesperson told Reuters. Basically, the code consists of four left numbers. So, it, say for instance, a merchant store is 5999, 5999, okay? And a sporting goods store is 5941. Uh, they haven't developed a number for the firearms industry or firearms retailers yet, but it's kind of disgusting. So what's going to happen, and I'll get into it here in a minute, the Almagad the Modded Bank, which calls itself America's socially responsible bank, said that its decision to push for creating the new code is a result of nearly three years of research and partnership, all right, with the experts issues with experts at Guns Down America and Giffords Law Center and a broad support from elected officials such as Elizabeth Warren, pension funds, and others across the United States. The, uh, the bank was founded by union workers nearly 100 years ago. The bank first tried to apply to create gun merchant codes in July 2021, but the application had been denied twice. Okay. The bank urges card companies to adopt new category code. Why would they do that, ladies and gentlemen? Basically so that they can track anything and everything that you buy. Priscilla Sims Brown, the president and CEO of the bank, said on September 9th, We all have to do our part to stop gun violence, and it sometimes starts with illegal purchases of guns and ammunition. Okay, this is how stupid these people are. If you're going to go out and buy a gun illegally, are you going to leave a track such as a credit card laying around? Hell no. These people are stupid. The new code will allow us to fully comply with our duty to report suspicious activity and illegal gun sales to authorities without blocking or impeding legal gun sales. All right. So this comes from a person, and as you know, a lot of people in, that are not related or don't know anything about firearms, they think that you know having 500 rounds of ammunition is a cache. A huge cache of ammunition, 500 rounds. He was destined, he was the, up to evil, no good. <laughs> oh my God. This action answers the call of millions of Americans who want safety from gun violence, and we are proud to have led the broad coalition of advocates, shareholders, and elected officials that achieved this historic outcome. This is not really historic. This is bullshit. Here it is. We have a fair market. We can do what we want. We can use these cards. We don't have to use the cards. Uh, let's see, the bank in its release announcing the approval of a new merchant code also shares separate statements from multiple New York officials and lawmakers who support the move, including the New York governor, my favorite lady, Kathy Hochul, New York Attorney General Letitia James, New York City Mayor Eric Adams, the New York Comptroller Brad, blah, 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 we go on. The thing is, if these guys would be more focused on trying to uh, keep people in jail versus letting them out the day after they shoot a cop, and then they want to go after you and me. A coalition of national gun violence provision groups, including Guns Down, Giffords, Brady, New Yorkers Against Gun Violence, issued a joint statement applauding and saying that the decision paves the way for credit card companies to help law enforcement preempt mass shootings. 
Okay, I, I, you know what? I can applaud their never ending, uh, their never ending battle on you and me, but this will never ever stop gun violence. All right, let's get back to it. Saying that this decision paves the way for credit card companies to help law enforcement preempt mass shootings and firearm trafficking by identifying suspicious patterns of firearms and ammunition purchases via the code. Uh, for the 9,000 federally licensed firearm dealers across the country. Criticisms. Okay, here we go. We got some criticisms. Some groups have criticized the ISO approval. Mark Oliva, we know him, the managing director for public affairs for the National Shooting Sports, Shooting Sports Foundation, the U.S. Trade Association for the firearms industry, told Center Square the code's creation was flawed on its premise. Those who believe it will help law enforcement do not provide details on what should be considered suspicious purchases. Exactly, Joyce, what I just said. Like, you know, buying 500 rounds of ammunition. <gasps> Red flag. He separately told Gothamist, this decision chills the free exercise of constitutionality, protective rights, and does not assist the law enforcement with crime prevention or holding criminals accountable. That's again, can I just ask you a question? I know if you made it this far in the video, you're going to answer this question. If a judge or district attorney allows someone to exit uh, prison or jail and they go out the next day and they commit murder, that judge or that district attorney should be held liable for accessory to murder. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Attaching codes specific to firearm and ammunition purchases cast a dark pall by gun control advocates who are only interested in disarming lawful gun owners. Exactly. Because, and again, I say, and if you made it this far, no one who's going to go out there and kill a bunch of people is going to use uh, a credit card. Lars Dalseed, I guess, a spokesperson for the NRA, uh, basically said, uh, implying that firearm purchases are suspicious demonstrates an obvious bias these attorney generals hold against anyone who chooses to exercise the fundamental constitutional right. Creating specific credit card codes for firearm lays the groundwork for de facto firearm registration. Done. All right, here we go. Congressional Democrat Elizabeth Warren, uh, Madeline Dean, uh, let's see, previously announced on September 7th that they reached out to the CEOs of MasterCard, American Express, and Visa seeking support for the creation of the new merchant code and to request information about their reported opposition to Amagadan Bank's, Bank's application for the code. The politicians cited a report to CBS in June that said that it had obtained documents that show employees from domestic and international credit card companies, including Visa, MasterCard, and American Express, pushed back on an application to create a merchant category code for the firearm industry. There you go. All right, I'm not going to get much into it any further. But uh, anyway, um, you guys let me know what your thoughts are down below. This is pretty sick stuff, man. Th these people will stop at nothing to try to infringe on your right. To now they want to, they're basically, they're bullies. And they're going to bully it and they're going to push it too far. An American Express spokesperson said that when ISO develops a new code, the company works with a third-party processors and partners on the implementation. It is important to note that merchant category codes are one of many data points that help us understand the industries in which our merchants operate, the spokesperson told. We are focused on ensuring that we have the right controls in place to meet our regulatory and fiduciary responsibilities as well as prevent illegal activity on our network. Oh, this is disgusting. All right, so let me know what your thoughts are down below. Today's going to be a fun day. I'm actually going to take some time. I'm going to uh, set up. I actually got a uh, new uh, tool deal. I'm going to be doing setting it up for 223-556. Uh, here's the conversion kit right here and uh, the Dylan 650. So we're going to go out there and do that. Well, with that, we always end them like this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. And I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who support our Constitution that was written and understood by our founding fathers, not the bullshit that they're trying to push out today. What they're doing right now is not going to do anything. And that's what I, I can't stand. They want to they want to coddle the criminals, but they want to take away our rights as law-abiding citizens. What the hell? KB32, I'm out. Boom.